The relationship between Time and Dr. King runs really deep. He was Time's man of the year, and he's been on the cover many times. And, you know, we're speaking to the relationship that historically has existed between the two. So the March is, a, is an immersive installation, like stepping into a Time magazine cover of the 1960 March on Washington and experience up close and personal with Dr. King in virtual reality uh, like we've never seen before. We thought, imagine being able to stand in front of Martin Luther King while he delivers this speech. Now is the time. We're being in close proximity to history. That's where we began our journey. Right now, there is nothing like this in VR. The pinnacle of the challenges is the creation of Dr. King. To have it feel like you are truly looking into another human being's soul is very, very difficult. Um, but I really wanted to try to push that boundary and make a big jump in the industry towards uh, realism with virtual humans. To create a new blend of technology that allows us to do something that is as real as our digital humans for feature films in real time as well for things like VR. And uh, I think it's gonna touch a lot of people out there in the country. And that's the intention. And Mole Hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Um, at this point, there's very sophisticated ways of creating a photorealistic 3D environment. Um, the process of getting digital humans that match the level of quality of that environment into a VR experience is still very difficult. So when we first started talking about this project and diving in, we were looking at a number of things that what we would call first. The special task we had on, on hand for Dr. King was creating a, not only a realistic digital human in VR, but also historically accurate to a specific time. Um, and that time is 1963, on the day of the march. The process of creating Dr. King uh, requires a bunch of different teams, a lot of disciplines, and it starts with capturing our stand-ins and our facial bridges to MLK, scanning them through a wide variety of different facial technologies. Three, two, one, scan. Chris's face uh, shape and structure is similar to Dr. King, so it gives us a jumping off point to sculpt Dr. King without having to start from scratch. On top of that, we use a huge amount of reference photography as well as reference video so that the modeling team has something to match to. That's the first part. The second part is to cast a performer that can give the speech verbatim and use him as the driving force behind our digital Dr. King performance. We chose Stefan for this role because he comes with the experience that we need uh, to execute the speech faithfully. Action. Our performer is outfit in a motion capture suit uh, with a helmet mounted camera. And so all that detail that we capture in that performance is then retargeted to our digital version of Dr. King. We needed to find an incredible amount of archival video footage and be able to one-to-one -one recreate, um, you know, exactly how Dr. King performed this speech. Boys black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls. As, As sisters, sisters and brothers, I have a dream to be. And so from that point, with the reference, our animation team is able to go back in and add those extra little bits that make him him. The human face is amazingly complex. Um, there's a lot of subtleties to it that people don't realize. The little nuances, the lip curls, the blinks, the way the eyes just look left and right. But facial tics are, are just one thing. The other thing underlying that is how blood moves. Part of our capture system allows us to check and see how blood moves across the face. And we have to add that in our digital performance to make sure that the emotion comes through. The really detailed and nuanced work equates to this experience that is very singular and new in terms of a viewer's understanding of what that speech was. Seeing him and hearing him was so uh, overwhelming of an experience that I want you to feel the journey that, that he took and everyone else he inspired to take and then walk away knowing how powerful you are as an individual. You can continue to march on and carry this torch and this responsibility to make a, make a difference in the world.